Bridges was killed last night, shot five times while sitting inside a parked vehicle with her boyfriend near 46th and Lawler in the Leclerc Courts neighborhood. Hands up, hands up. Tonight at 11.20 p.m., Sheriff 911 received multiple calls of shots being fired. The number of unintentional deaths by guns has decreased by 58% from 1991 to 2011. There have been 476 mass shootings in the United States since 2016. States, guns are used 80 times more often to stop crime than to use it against other people. The number of people who die due to gun-related issues increased by 16 percent from 2014 to 2017. I want to see how in the next presidential election realistic change can happen concerning gun control laws in our country. In 2016 alone, 38,000 people have died from gun-related causes. About 54% of U.S. gun owners also admitted that they do not store their guns safely. Um, in your opinion, as an educational leader, should we do more concerning gun restriction legislation? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Um, I think that um, what we should do is, first of all, take guns out of school. Lots of talk has been happening, but almost no action has taken place. Some other stores also no longer allow you to carry your gun inside their store, even if they are in an open carry state like Indiana. 100,000 people are shot and injured in America each year, and there are about 100 people shot and killed every day. The only states that require permits while buying a shotgun and rifles are California, Hawaii, and Connecticut. In 2017, after a mass shooting, the White House announced the bump stocks have been explicitly banned in the beginning of 2019. should allow any person to own any kind of gun? No, I don't think that's what the framers of the Constitution claimed. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that assault rifles, um, I mean, back then no one knew what an assault rifle was, right? Um, but if it's to, the idea is to defend and protect, then you don't need an assault rifle to do that because that's strictly an offensive weapon and not a defensive weapon. So I don't think that the Constitution really intended to allow for any kind of weapon. On August 12, 1993, President Bill Clinton said, if the personal freedoms guaranteed by the Constitution inhabit the government's ability to govern the people, we should look to limit those guarantees. I don't believe that. I don't believe the Second Amendment is completely unrestricted. What I do think is that people who love guns and love firearms should be allowed to, to, to enjoy that passion. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of people who who have that passion and who, who enjoy it responsibly and well, and they should continue to have as many guns as, as they want and to exercise that freedom. The problem is how, I always say we, can, we can't control people, but we can control guns to a degree. And the branches should. of government should work together to make common sense gun law legislation. I think that the U.S. government should find a way that restricts one's Second Amendment right to bear arms, but make sure that the right is not completely taken away. So shootings have grown dramatically in this country. This should not be the face of America. I think we've got to do much more to stop the plague of gun violence. Texas passed 10 new laws to loosen gun restrictions. Next month, guns will be allowed on school grounds and in churches. It's the person that decides to use that gun that we're afraid of. Guns are not only being used to hurt others, but they are being used for self-harm. About two-thirds of all deaths by a gun are a suicide. Yeah, as a prosecutor, my, my whole hope and my whole goal is to keep people safe. So I do think that more and better regulations to prevent guns from winding up in the hands of the people that shouldn't have them are, are a good thing, for mm -hmm. sure. Um, one of the things we talk a lot about is how to prevent uh, 
how to prevent people who shouldn't have weapons from getting those weapons. Yeah. So I, in my opinion, that's a good thing. Yeah. Frederick Douglass once said, a man's rights rest in three boxes, the ballot box, the jury box, and the cartridge box. Gun control is a very important issue. Guns are things that if put in the wrong hands can be very dangerous. Firearms can also, though, be very helpful when trying to protect oneself or when they are given to some law official.